Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Irene, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys all of the things that I use in my hair care routine to grow my hair nice and long and healthy. I've had people asking me questions about how do you grow your hair so long? How do you keep it healthy? So I decided just to come on here and create a video and hopefully it will help you guys with your hair journey. So if you're interested to see how I grow my hair and the products that I use to maintain it, then let's get started into this video. So to give you guys a little bit of background information, my hair type is medium and it's mostly straight. If I were to let it air dry on its own, it does have some slight waves in it not enough to wear naturally and have it look good. <laughs> so really it is pretty straight hair, um, medium texture. Now I have had coloring in my hair before, but that was years ago. I used to color my hair quite frequently with box dyes or I would even go to the salon to uh, balayage it, but I haven't done that in years. So all the hair that's on my head now is what they would call virgin hair. So that does make it easier to maintain and keep healthy. These products here that I'm mentioning today do help with dryness and repairing. So uh, I will get straight into that right away. One of the first things that I highly recommend that you get for your hair care routine is this number three hair perfector from Olaplex. It is incredible for repairing the bonds in your hair. And I can say that I truly, truly notice a huge difference from um, using this and without. So this is a hair treatment that they recommend you use once every week if you have like normal hair. If you have highly damaged hair, if it's gone through a lot of coloring treatment processes and things like that, then they can say that you can even use this up to two to three times a week. So for me, I don't even use it once a week. I use it maybe once every two weeks, if that, because sometimes I'm just so lazy. But I can say that this truly makes a huge difference in the health of my hair. Before, uh, if I didn't use this, uh, my hair would be very frizzy, it would be very dry, brittle, it would break off a lot. And um, once I use this, it totally smooths everything out. It strengthens my hair so much. And I use quite a bit of heat on my hair, I have to admit. Um, I use heat on my hair almost every single day because for me, if I curl my hair, I need to recurl it every morning. And sometimes, let's say I curl it in the morning and then I want to go out later in the day, then I recurl it again. So, so I use quite a decent amount of heat on my hair. I'm not super gentle with it, but this really helps repair the bonds in my hair for sure. So how I use this is I will have my dirty hair, I will wet it, um, and then I will apply this from root to tip all over and let it sit for at least 20 minutes before I actually hop into the shower to rinse it all out and then continue with my hair washing routine. So I highly, highly recommend this product. Moving on to shampoo and conditioner. I am not particularly picky with my shampoo and conditioner. Um, for a while back there, I was using some salon quality stuff, but then I ran out and I just never went to get some more. Right now, um, I've been using Head & Shoulders. This is what me and my husband both use on our hair. And quite frankly, I've talked to my hairstylist and she says that she doesn't find that head and shoulders to be overly bad for your hair. I have dandruff in the winter because my scalp just gets so, so dry. It's so cold and dry here. So I find that head and shoulders really helps with that and the flakiness. So this is why I reach for it a lot. It's just because it does help with that. For me, I invest more in like the treatments and oils and things like that for my hair to keep it long and healthy. Moving on, after I condition and I shampoo my hair, I will uh, once a week approximately go in with this. This is one of my favorite hair treatments that I use and it is called from Amica. It is the Flash Instant Shine Mask. This is such a great product because it smells incredible and it works so quickly and gives you instantaneous results. Um, I love this because it makes your hair incredibly shiny. What I love about it is that you only need to let this sit in your hair for about a minute and when you get out of the shower, A, of course your hair smells incredible and B, instant, like it's so shiny. It's incredibly shiny. When I use these two in conjunction on the same day, my hair feels like heaven. Like seriously, like heaven. So I highly recommend these two. So after I've stepped out of the shower, my hair has been treated with Olaplex, I've washed and um, conditioned, and I've used the Amica Hair Flash um, Mask, which like I said, I only use but once a week. 
Then I will go in and I will just um, towel dry my hair, squeeze out the excess water, and go in with an oil. The oil that I use for the ends of my hair to kind of reduce like the breakage and to combat frizziness and split ends is this Kevin Murphy Young Again Oil Immortel Infused Treatment Oil. This oil is really good because it is very hydrating, very nourishing, and it also protects against heat. So I love to use this when my hair is damp, but you can also use it when your hair is dry. You just use a little bit less. For me, with my length of hair, I use about three pumps for my um, from the ends of my hair to about halfway or a third of the way up. But if you have longer hair, you could use more. Um, and it's very lightweight and it does a really good job at uh, conditioning your hair and keeping things moisturized. Then I will go in with a heat protectant spray. So I will spray my hair with this. This is the Tresme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Spray and this is like an OG product that people have been using for years and years. I've used it since I was in junior high, high school. This has been a great product. I love this because it is so affordable. It has a really great nozzle and it smells really good. So I love using this for right before I'm about to heat style, blow dry, um, things like that, my hair, and it does a good job of protecting it on top of obviously using this. So this has some heat protectant already and then I'll add this just for some extra protection. Moving on, I go in with my hair dryer. Now my hair dryer is my beloved Dyson hair dryer right here. I've created a video, it's one of my first videos that I've created, um, reviewing and demoing how I use this and like how fast I can blow dry my hair from completely wet to dry. So I'll link that in the cards up below. But this is my hair dryer and I find that it is so worth the money. Now I know not a lot of people have the money to spend and splurge on a $500 hair dryer and I totally understand that. But if you can, I highly, highly recommend it. It literally cuts my blow drying time down to like two to three minutes and my hair is not short and it's relatively thick. I have a decent amount of hair. So it takes me just like under five minutes to blow dry my hair completely dry and it makes my hair very, very shiny. I've had to go without using this before. After going without my Dyson hair dryer, I really noticed the huge difference that it makes when I blow dry my hair. It gives it incredible shine and I don't know the science behind it all, but just the way that the air is directed at your hair, it really reduces frizz and everything like that. So I absolutely love and highly recommend the Dyson hair dryer. If you're able to get your hands on one, do it. But I'm also aware that, like I said, not everyone can get their hands on one. It's not realistic. Not everyone wants to spend $500 on a hair dryer. And I totally understand and respect that because I have had that perspective myself for the longest time. If that is the case for you, I highly recommend getting a product that cuts down your hair drying time regardless of what hair dryer you're using. So this is um, by Design Me, it's a Power Dry Me. This can cut down your blow drying time in like half is what it says on the bottle. This is a spray and you shake it up, you spray it all over your hair, then you just blow dry your hair like normal afterwards. I do find that this stuff does cut down your blow dry time. So I think for me, I use quite a lot of hair, like heat tools on my hair already. So if I can reduce it here and there, I will. That's one of the key things for keeping your hair healthy is just reducing heat damage, um, chemical processing on it. So if you can, try to get yourself a product like this. Um, it does reduce your drying time by quite a bit. So then again, it's reducing the exposure to heat to your hair, which is obviously gonna be better for your hair in the long run. So like I said, no Dyson hair dryer, don't worry. Get something that will reduce your drying time. And then what I like to do is, this is more like a styling product, but I'm gonna throw it in here anyways because it does give the healthy hair look. So when I am about to blow dry my hair, what I do is I section off my hair and I will do like, like yesterday I did like a blowout. As you can see, it's kind of blown out at the ends. So what I do is I took this product. This is the Kevin Murphy Hair Resort Spray. I purchased this the other day when I got my hair cut at the salon and what I saw Shirley do with this when she was styling my hair that day was as she was blow drying each section with the round brush, she would spray this on that section first and then go ahead and do the blow dry. What she says that this gives incredible shine. So use this if you want to add that extra shine factor and this next product is a bedhead after party smoothing cream. I love to use this 
it smells really really good and you just pump it out it's a little bit of a, like a cream and if you have frizziness this will be your godsend you use this uh, like a pump in your hand for each side of like, each half of your hair you just run it through the ends and it gives it incredible shine in fact i'm going to do it right now i'm going to take off my rings so i'm going to take a little bit like this much just a very little rub it between my fingers and i'm going to go in to my ends here and it gives it smells so good and it really reduces the frizziness in it obviously there wasn't much frizziness to begin with but you can see how shiny that is and how sleek and smooth that looks so i'll do that on the other side as well since i'll even it out so again about this much rub it between my palms to warm up the product and spread it out from the ends to about halfway up and it really reduces any frizziness and flyaways that you might have. So I highly recommend this as well. The next thing I want to say is if you want to grow your hair nice and long and keep it healthy looking, try to wash your hair less. I've trained my hair to the point where I can wash my hair about two to three times a week. Of course, it'll take some time, but if you can get there, it will make the world of a difference. To get between those days when I am not washing my hair, I will use Batiste Dry Shampoo and spray this on my roots to absorb the excess oil and it makes my life so much easier in the morning. So dry shampoo is one of your best friends if you are trying to grow your hair out and reduce the washing so that you're not completely stripping your hair of its natural oils over and over again. The next thing I want to say is get yourself a wet brush because when your hair is out of the wash and it's wet still you don't want to be brushing through it with a brush that's going to rip and tear at it because it is definitely more fragile when it's wet so get yourself a wet brush and that way it's a lot more gentle on your hair and it won't cause unnecessary breakage and damage which will then cause frizzies and flyaways so if nothing else the things i want you to remember for growing your hair nice long and healthy is to remember a few key things the first things first is to wash your hair less frequently and use dry shampoo if needed the second thing is to go get yourself this olaplex number no. three hair perfector number three is to use some sort of heat protectant and an oil so for me i like to use this on top of this and this is the oil that i mentioned so i hope you guys found today's video somewhat helpful if you guys have other tips tricks or other hair care products that you guys use to help grow those long luscious locks please leave them down in the comment section below. As always, if you guys liked this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to join our little community here. It would mean a great deal to me for sure. As always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.